This is version 6 and yes, this is the final video in our MA Touch 1.2 8-inch toolset timer switch relay kit series. Imagine controlling your devices wirelessly, not from your phone, not using any Wi-Fi router and not through any IoT platform, but using the ESP32 built-in Wi-Fi feature itself. That's right, today we are using ESP Now, a powerful communication protocol from Espressif that allows two or more ESP32 board to send and receive data instantly without the need for an internet connection or access point. It's fast, reliable, and perfect for projects like this. I really love this kit because its top part is completely detachable which means you can use it separately or integrate it into other projects. If you have been following my previous videos, you will remember that in version 1, I promised that one day we will make this part of the kit act as the transmitter. And today, in version 6, we are finally doing it. On the receiver side, I am using my custom ESP32 development board, which includes a relay connected to GPIO 13, and the servo is connected to GPIO 4. Together, they will create a complete wireless servo and relay control system, fully interactive and responsive. Before the practical demonstration, let's first take a look at the UI I created in Squareline Studio. On screen one, we are displaying the date and time. I have used this same background image and labels in all my previous versions. On screen two, we are showing the servo angle, which we will send to the receiver. And on screen three, I have added a switch to control the relay on the receiver side. Whenever I turn this switch on or off, the relay fun function is called. I have only added three screens, but you can easily create more if you want. I didn't go into too much detail here because I have already explained all the basics of smartwatch programming in my dedicated series. So make sure to watch that first for a better understanding. First, you need to download both codes, one for the transmitter side and one for the receiver side. Start by uploading the receiver code. Once it's uploaded, open the serial monitor and copy the MAC address shown there. Then paste this MAC address into the transmitter code and finally upload the transmitter code. Both the transmitter and receiver sites are completely ready. So let's go ahead and power them up. Right now, you can see I'm rotating the encoder but nothing is happening. That's because the encoder is deactivated. To activate it, we simply press the built-in push button. Once active, every small rotation updates the servo position on the receiver instantly, smooth, precise, and completely lag-free. When the encoder is deactivated, it doesn't control the servo in real time, but you can still use it to set the desired angle. Then as soon as you press the button, the servo position updates immediately. If I swipe my finger to the right, you'll see screen 3, where I have added a switch to control the relay on the receiver side. And just watch this. The moment I toggle the switch, the relay responds instantly. It's incredibly fast. And you know why? Because there's no Wi-Fi setup, no pairing, no cloud delay. Just instant, direct communication using ESP now. Now we are going to perform a range test to see how far we can control the servo and relay wirelessly. He is standing about 20 meters away and it's still working perfectly. As you can see he's quite far now but he can still control the relay from that distance without any issues. If you would like to try this project yourself, you can download both the transmitter and receiver codes from my website electroniclinic.com. And if you want the complete project, including the Squareline Studio project, UI files, and all source codes, they are available on my Patreon page. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.